Number one in the mornings. King 5 News on Kong starts now. If you want to work the keyboard, the virtual keyboard, you're going to have to set it on your lap, or you're going to have to put it down flat, and you may not be able to see the screen regularly. Right, the way it's set up. That I way. just so think we'll have it's to so, see. Yeah. And it's the price point okay. for the memory that you would want if you're going to be storing books and yeah. movies and videos and pictures. Yeah. It's going to cost you. I think so. I mean, I can't wait to play with one, though. We'll <laughs> if I got one, though, I would be happy exactly. with it. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Renee. Thank Speaking you. of technology, many people in Kent are talking technology. Technology. The school district, along with the Chamber of Commerce, hosted a really great 2010 Technology Expo last night at the Showware Center. I had the privilege of being the keynote speaker. I have no idea why they wanted me, I, having just gotten a BlackBerry. But anyway, the purpose of the event was to highlight students, as we did, their use of technology as a learning tool and the use of technology by businesses and some of their partnerships. I have to say, I met some really smart kids who are excited about the opportunities in technology and some great teachers as well who are leading the way in the classroom. It's amazing what they're doing in the classroom with computers and software and how it's that's really helping them as a learning tool. So, way to go, Kent School District, putting that's on a, a fine tech expo. Big live audience you had uh, there. Yeah, it was huge. I, there, I think there were over 2,000 people Whoa. down there. You know, it was great. Community leaders, business leaders, parents, teachers, the tech students. Tech and education. Yeah. So, That's awesome. It was really great. Well, another search is.